What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated three-division world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis. 26 wins, no loss, no draw. 24 big wins by way of knockout. 27 years of age, 5'5 five five with a 67-inch arm reach. He had a lot of interesting things to say regarding his current situation and his promotional company, which is led by founder and legendary retired Hall of Fame iconic superstar boxer, who was a former five-division world champion, former pound-for-pound pound king, the man known as Money, Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. With that said, Floyd Mayweather, he retired undefeated 50-0. Uh, he's the founder of Mayweather Promotions. He works with PBC, Premier Boxing Champion, founder and advisor Al Heyman. And his number one ace is Javante Tane Davis, okay? Uh, with that said, there's been a lot of people that question the choice of opponents for Javante Tane Davis, okay? Uh, what direction Javante Tane Davis' career is going in. Uh, Javante Tane Davis, from junior welterweight on down, is considered the pound-for-pound pay-per-view star and the cash cow, okay? No doubt about it. So Floyd Mayweather, I believe in building up the star status of Javante Tank Davis, I believe he did a pretty good job with it, right? Because Javante Tank Davis, he sells out, sold out the Staples Center. He sells out uh, the arenas in um, Atlanta. He sells out in his hometown of Baltimore, Maryland. So he's a, he's a massive draw, okay? He sells out arenas. But the, the choice of opponent gets questioned, okay, by the fan base and the fact that he's on pay-per-view. Uh, Javante Tank Davis seems like he's not happy with the, the current situation that he's in. And he expresses that uh, the only reason he's facing off against undefeated WBA lightweight interim champion, who is also a fellow stablemate of his, in Rolando Roley Romero, who is 14 wins, no loss, no draw, 12 wins by way of knockout. Uh, it, that's who he's going to face next, okay? And so Javante Tank Davis clearly isn't happy with this decision. And Javante Tank Davis, he lets it be known that the only reason they got me fighting this dude is because my contract is getting ready to end. And, um, you know, it's, they're keeping it in-house, right? And so he expressed that he's just simply not happy with the way they're moving him, the way they're promoting him. He just stated that, uh, look how they're putting my tickets on sale a month before my fight, like I'm Michael Jackson. That's not going to work, okay? Then Javante Tank Davis, he was asked uh, by one of the guys, one of the fans in his uh, Twitter account, uh, you on deck to face the winner of the highly anticipated undisputed showdown between undefeated, newly crowned, unified, lightweight world champion, Australian star boxer George Cambosis Jr., and undefeated WBC lightweight world champion superstar boxer uh, Devin the Dream Haney. They look like they're going to fight June 5th in Australia, and the winner would officially be undisputed. But since Javante Tank Davis holds the WBA World Boxing Association uh, uh, regular title, the WBA President Gilberto Mendoza have ordered that Javante Tank Davis face the winner of that fight uh, so they can clarify who is the one single champion in the division. Okay, so... He's uh, Gilberto Mendoza and WBA are stating that, uh, you know, it's going to be ordered immediately following the winner of that fight, which so fans are saying you're going to be on deck for the winner of that fight. Javante Tank Davis, he responds quite interesting. He puts at least they were offered the fight and then he puts the emojis, you know, like uh, shrugging shoulders emojis. Right. At least Devin Haney was offered the fight. So. Obviously, that's the jab at uh, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather Promotions, uh, that he's not getting the fights he's looking for, okay? Uh, and so many people wondered. We know Javante Tank Davis, longtime trainer and, and mentor in Calvin Ford, he stated that Javante Tank Davis had been waiting uh, patiently for Floyd Mayweather to make a fight between Javante Tank Davis and uh, two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, uh, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasil Lomachenko. He said, that's the fight we've been waiting for and clamoring for to prove where we stand, okay? Javante Tank Davis, he said that he was being patient also, uh, but he wants to fight all these fights, okay? And so he puts the emoji with the hands as if, you know, at least they were offered the fight, okay? They got the opportunity and they're getting the fight. Well, it'll be mandated, right? So it'll be out of the hands of Floyd Mayweather unless... 
Javante Tank Davis vacates the belt. Well, then Javante Tank Davis, he continued to go on uh, and say that, you know, um, he was, expressed his uh, displeasure with what's taking place in his current situation. And then he says to the fans, okay, that says, well, you want to fight with Devin Haney and uh, George Cambosis Jr. He's saying clearly he wants the winner of the fight. But then he responds by saying, but after they hear this and see what's going on on Twitter and see my social media, instead of me getting a fight against the winner, they're going to make me fight Deontay Wilder next. Wow. So <laughs> he states that, you know, um, after they get a load of what I'm saying and they get and they see what this and see what I'm saying, they're going to they ain't going to give me the winner of that fight. They're going to make me fight Deontay Wilder. Wow. Now, many people have been. Uh, wanting Javante Tank Davis to take the reins of his own career in his own hands, okay? Uh, start demanding the big fights. He fights from 130, 135, and 140. There's massive names for Javante Tank Davis in those divisions, okay? Uh, mainly, he wants to fight at 135. They got Ryan Garcia, which a fight they were attempting to make. Uh, Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney, George Cambosis, and Vasil Lomachenko. Those are legacy fights for Javante Tank Davis, Okay. And then at 140, you got now Josh Taylor's the undisputed champion there who's looking to exit the division. But you have Regis Progray there. You have big names there for Javante Davis to solidify himself and his legacy. Okay, at 130, I don't know if he could still make 130, but there's big names there at 130 as well. Okay, and so with that said, you know, Javante Tank Davis is clearly not happy with his position. But I think that, you know, things will work out for Javante Tank Davis. Um, because uh, the WBA is ordering it. So unless he's stripped of his title, and that's going to speak volumes towards Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather Promotions, if Devin Haney, George Cambosis Jr. winner, is ordered for Javante Tank Davis to fight, and they don't begin to negotiate and make a deal. And what's more interesting is they both have a lot of flexibility as they are not so, uh, they're not, um, uh, they don't have to, um, face they don't have to fight on one uh, specific network okay uh they're not committed to any one specific network they are flexible Devin Haney has DHP promotion Devin Haney promotions he co-promotes with uh Matthew Matthew CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn and he showcases talents on the zone but he can fight anywhere he so chooses okay uh George Cambosis Jr he's with Lou DeBella they don't have a network they're not committed to anybody okay uh, so they don't have any exclusive rights to anybody where they have to uh, uh, work out a massive uh, co-promotion type of situation to fight Javante Tank Davis. And so with that said, the winner of the fight should be very flexible and able for Floyd Mayweather uh, to get a deal done for Javante Tank Davis to face off against uh, either one of these guys. OK, uh, and so we know Devin Haney has been calling for a fight uh, with himself and Javante Tank Davis and um uh, they just stated that there wasn't enough money in the uh, um, in the bank account, essentially, you know, to pay for Devin Haney and Javante Tank Davis fight right now because of the money that Devin Haney garners and gets paid currently as it stands, and uh, the money that Javante Tank Davis gets paid. Okay, now Javante Tank Davis is fighting on pay per view. Now fans have grown tired uh, and frustrated with Javante Tank Davis fighting the Mario Barrioses and you know, uh, the Isaac Cruises of the world, which turned out to be good fights. They all turned out to be good fights, but the fans want to see him up in the ring with the best names, the biggest names possible, okay? And so when this fight got made with Roly Romero, uh, it's clear Javante Tank Davis is not happy with this fight. Uh, it's clear that Javante Tank Davis is not happy with his situation. Uh, and the fact that his trainer is saying that they wanted Vasil Lomachenko, and now uh, Javante Tank Davis is saying at least uh, Devin Haney and George Cambosis Jr. was offered to fight each other. And then he says, after they see this, they're going to make me fight Deontay Wilder. So uh, basically letting you know that they're going to be frustrated with his stance. They're going to be frustrated with, uh, you know, what he's saying. And they're going to force him to fight. You know, uh, they're going to put him in the ring with anybody. You know, uh, obviously, he's not going to face Deontay Wilder. That's far-fetched, right? Um, but, you know, uh, uh it's just alarming that Javante Tank Davis feels this way. And this is not the first time they had this spat uh, publicly. You know, uh, Javante Tank Davis, you know, uh, he's, you know, frust he's expressed frustrations with uh, Floyd Mayweather in the past. 
a few times, you know, uh, and they worked it out. So uh, we got to see how this unfolds. But I believe it works in Javante Tank Davis's favor that Devin Haney, George Cambos's winner, is going to be ordered for him to fight. And it's going to look pretty bad on Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather promotions if they decide that they're going to make job, allow Javante Tank Davis or force him to vacate his title opposed to fighting the winner of that fight. That's not going to look good for their company. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shout out to new media shout out to black media raw make sure you like and share the videos that's all I got for y'all peace oh it is your boy Jaden Kiss make sure you check out blue blood sports TV it's going down